today I'm going to be making one of my all-time favorite smoothies using my amazing big Bosch jug blender. This is a, a beautiful blender because it helps to really crush ice. See how big these ice blocks are that we keep in our freezer. That's super cool. And what's nice about this recipe is that it's totally plant-based, it's vegan. So it doesn't contain any gluten or wheat, it doesn't contain any dairy products. And so it's safe for people that are following a plant-based diet or um, a gluten-free or dairy-free diet. So it's really, really cool. Um, okay, so let's go through the, the ingredients first. We've got ice, lots of it, big chunks. So I'm gonna pop that in first because I'm gonna utilize the blender to first crush the ice. Then we've got a whole lot of almond milk, you'll see here. You could use a bit of like coconut milk if you want to, but I've used almond milk. Then what I've done is something different here because one thing that this recipe is lacking is ice cream or frozen yogurt or something like that. So what I've done, I've frozen a whole lot of coconut cream blocks to make it a bit creamier. So that's obviously gonna increase the, increase the fat intake or content of the specific recipe, but it's gonna really add to the creaminess of a really nice thick smoothie. Another key for a good smoothie is to freeze your fruit. So for this specific recipe, I only use frozen banana. Well, I use banana, so I froze two bananas. You take them out just before, and that also helps to give a smoothie that cre creamy, creamy texture that ice cream or frozen yogurt gives it. So we're gonna fake it. Then a little bit of pea protein. So I've used the biogen one here. So pea protein, uh, raw cacao nibs, which give it that kind of like raw chocolatey flavor. Some goji berries, some sunflower seeds, and my actual raw cacao. Not cocoa, okay? It's raw cacao. So in other words, it hasn't been heated or cooked, and it's in its raw form, and it boasts lots and lots of antioxidants. Goji berries are superfood. Cacao nibs are also full of antioxidants and a superfood. Your seeds for your omegas, your pea protein for your protein, banana for sweetness and potassium and all the good minerals and vitamins, almond milk to obviously give it some kind of liquid, um, and then your, your creaminess comes from your coconut cream over here. And your ice, that's it. Okay, so let's blend the ice first, just to crush it into something a little bit smaller than that. Ready, steady, it's loud. Steady, go. Woo! Didn't spill any. Let's blitz it again. Let's add everything else now. Let's add our frozen banana. You could also add a little drizzle of honey or xylitol syrup if you wanted it a little bit sweeter, but the banana generally does the trick. Okay, sunflower seeds, pea protein, cacao nibs, raw cacao powder. You can add more if you really like it chocolatey. Goji berries. And you can add more ice as well if you prefer a much thicker smoothie. So we'll see how it comes out and then I might add more. Steady, go. Okay, let me go this way to the other setting. Pulse, pulse. So if anything's heavy and kind of falling to the bottom, like an ice block or something, you can just pulse it back up again. It gets caught back into the blades. Okay, now a little bit more blitzing. Granny smoothies. It must be thick, just like a milkshake. And cheers. Mm. That was 
really good. And it's a little bit crunchy as well because of the raw cacao nibs. Not too sweet. You could add a bit of honey if you want a little bit sweeter. So I think I would because I do prefer like sweet stuff. Got a bit of a sweet tooth on me. But yeah, really nice recipe to make, especially if you're on my lemonade program or you're wanting a smoothie that is dairy free, wheat free and all of that and full of antioxidants, full of the good fats, some protein with the pea protein in it. It's a really, really quick thing to make. And using this kind of blender, this beautiful Bosch glass blender, I mean, it's heavy. This thing is really chunky and really good quality. Obviously the blades are amazing, so it can cut through those big pieces of ice. Um, really nice for when summer comes along and you wanna make like crushed mango smoothies and things. So I can't wait for that. Um, but yeah, cheers everybody, and I hope you enjoy my recipe.